Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Russell here. So I wanted to do for today's video, a amateur hour explanation of uh, backing up videos or just a really simple workflow. If you happen to have a network attached storage device, I'm using the Synology DS920 Plus on my network, which Synology kindly dispatched to my home uh, about 18 months ago. And what I'm just using this for is the most simple workflow. So I just want to talk about that for a second. Now, the reason I'm calling it amateur hour and simple is because if you're really doing video backup properly, you're, you're going to be backing up your original clips. You're going to be backing up the titles, the transitions, the sound effects. Everything's going to be backed up. Now, that's fine if you're working on a documentary or a movie or something professional. All I'm doing is backing up my rendered output source files. So take this clip that I just did for a video uh, demonstrating the various um, GPU rendering profiles on Caden Live, right? So I have one video clip, that's this MP4 file. I have an audio clip and I have a transition and it's a 10 second clip. I then rendered that out. So basically what I'm backing up is just this currently, it's just the rendered output, the source files, if there's anything that's nice for B-roll, I might be able to use, I've just signed up for a site called Pond5. So I'll put that in a separate folder, but then I'll nuke, I'll nuke the archive. I'll just get rid of it uh, to save space on my computer, basically. So that's my current approach. And uh, because I, there's nothing really that wonderful I'm shooting at the moment. So I'm just taking this and backing it up. Now, what I'm doing, I'll just bring over my uh, NAS here, is... Here's my NAS. I just have a, a few folders. Uh, take this first entry folder on my uh, on the, the the homepage of DSM. I'm just gonna bring my OPS up here. And um, what you can see is I'm just dumping in, for instance, the FLVs or would, that would be the raw I put from uh, OBS. And then if I edit the video clips, um, I'm rendering out to MP4. So if you take, uh, let's go for the aftermath of forest fires. I can actually watch them on the NAS, which is quite nice. Okay. Great, so this is my clip on the NAS. Now, I'm also having, so that's number one, I put it onto a folder. Now, what are these folders? Well, I created a few volumes on the NAS. One was for raw clips, so I do have one if I'm going to start backing up my, if I do want to actually back up the raw clips, but the other one is just called rendered clips. Then I put out some uh, shortcuts, drop those on the desktop, and that way you can just do a little plug. Uh, if I go to my, let's say, first entry, I'm just gonna go to my desktop here. Uh, so I can just literally do a little drag and drop. So let's take my test render project. I can just drop it in. This is gonna upload in a millisecond. There you go, it's done already. And that's it, I just make sure it's on the NES. Now the second thing I would be doing, uh, I'm doing is I'm using a this program called Cloud Sync and I'm automatically syncing. It's actually on pause at the moment, but usually, usually it's running. I'm syncing between um, the that volume and B2, Backblaze B2, Cloud Storage, Cloud Object Storage. It also does S3, Cloud Sync for Synology does probably a bunch of uh, different backup sources. Cloud Sync Synology, I'm sure it does It does uh, the Cloud Sync package. You can find the information there about it um, on the internet. I'm just bringing that over here. Synology Cloud Sync, easily connect your Synology NAS to cloud services. Backblaze B2, Dropbox, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, and other places as well, uh, AWS, Azure, OpenStack. So you've got really the, the kind of pick of the crop. So I have a rule set up that's also doing a cloud sync from that local folder so that you've offsite backup because if the first backup, first backup rule is three, two, one, you wanna have three data copies, primary and two backups. One of those backups should be offsite because if you have your video backups on the, uh, you know, in your apartment and your apartment catches fire, then you're kind of screwed. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure one of those is offsite. It can, offsite can mean the cloud because AWS are not gonna lose your data properly. Or it can mean your car. So you can also use a uh, hyper backup to back up the whole NAS. Or you can use, there is another program in Synology for backing up your NES to somebody else's NES if you happen to have another a friend with a Synology. So you can use either approach. You can just back up the whole thing every month and stick that in your car or stick that, well, car is probably not a great idea. Stick that in your aunt's apartment or your uncle's apartment or your friend's apartment. It doesn't matter, just an offsite source. And that'll get you there too. Um, final thing to say is, final thing, okay, final thing to say is this. I'm just gonna bring over my YouTube account here. 
you can see my, my videos are flying off the shelves here. Now, some people say, oh yeah, here's, here's how you back up your YouTube account, right? I might have said this in the past. Uh, I don't think I did. In any way, it's a poor man's approach. You can just click on this and click on the download button and you'll get your backup of backup backpack options for the Ronin SC. Now that, yeah, you'll get a backup that way. You can also do a Google takeout, but you're going to be getting a compressed version. This is not going to release the original file because this is 20. I know this for a fact for this one. This is only 23 megs. I think it was something like 400 when I went in. You're going to get that backup after Google's compression. Therefore, you're going to lose quality. So what you want to do is back up your original renders, whatever you're using for editing DaVinci, uh, Caden Live, etc. You want to back up the original files and you don't want to do, you don't want to back them. It's better than doing nothing to back them up out of YouTube by you, by either doing that manual download approach or doing something like Google Takeout, but it's not preferable. You definitely want to preserve the quality and keep those originals. So that's my little backup approach for the moment. Hope this video was useful and uh, please uh, subscribe if you want to get more videos from this YouTube channel.